everybody, it's me, Luna TK, and today I am back with another Miraculous Reaction. Today's episode is called Feast, which is ironic because of the fact that I did not bring much of a feast for myself. I wanted to like switch it up because like I kept having popcorn and like, I don't know, like it's my favorite snack, but like I just wanted to switch it up. So I got like some fruit snacks and I got like a Gatorade because this was just we didn't have any tea at the moment, so this is not a product placement. This is just, I like blue Gatorade. This is not a feast. It's like, there's like three things of these. I can't really feast on this, but I mean, I guess I can. They're pretty yummy. They're probably gonna be gone within the first like two minutes of the show, but like, yeah. Feast. I don't know, it just makes me think of like, Thanksgiving. So like maybe it's like a Thanksgiving episode. But no, they don't have Thanksgiving in France. That's an American holiday. I don't know. As you can see today, like I, I kind of, you know, I've noticed Cat Noir and Ladybug are like the easiest ones to kind of like casually find things in my closet that can be inspired by it. I don't know where my ring went, but I still have these cat ears, so that helps. And then I got black and green. All you need to do is like black and green or like red and black. So maybe I'll just continue to try to find casual ways for that, but I might be wearing the same stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's gonna be like a person who likes food. I don't know. Maybe it's a holiday, some sort of holiday where you get together and have a lot of food. Somebody gets mad and there's a giant turkey that gets mad. That makes no sense. Maybe somebody gets mad over something going on at this feast, at this big family dinner. Who knows? I am just... I'm really bad at predictions nowadays because they're just, it's just too tricky to figure out. So let's just go ahead and just figure this out. Let's figure, there's only one way to find out what this is going to be about and that is to watch it. So without further ado, let's get to it. That was silly. I don't even know if I, that looks silly. Oh well. Super Adrian. Hmm, I wonder who that is. Oh boy. I'm convinced Ladybug, Cat Noir, and other miraculous holders have been depicted through the centuries. Until the sky mm. disappeared and the world forgot about them. We already know this one. The Ladybug from ancient... Oh, I'm so glad we're really... We're re really getting back into this. This was... Ooh. An ear. Back, which was how it originally looked. Mm. But here's the big thing. All these works of art have something in common. It's the same symbol. Oh... Whoa! Wow. Mm! Wow, what is happening? We are seriously jumping right into something. Whoa. I'm sure my video will help Ladybug unmask Hot Moth. Wait, you're gonna publish your theories on the Ladyblog? Actually, I. Oh! Great. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's a scenty monster, a magical creature conjured from an emotion shaped by the power of the peacock. Oh boy. Remember when I told you I made a terrible mistake? Whoa! Oh my gosh! I was just saying this last episode how- I was younger than you when I was chosen to be a guardian. My parents told me that it was a great honor. So I took the peacock miraculous. What? And used its power. What? A monster that was Whoa. very different from the one I had envisioned. The miraculous. Oh. Since they were the bane of my life. Whoa. And the monks tried to stop it. The temple. 
the order of the guardians. Everything. It was destroyed. What? I tried to run away from the Sandy Monster. But by doing so, I lost the Grimoire and both the butterfly and the peacock miraculous. Wow. I thought the Sandy Monster had disappeared forever. As soon as Hotmog finds out about it, he'll be able to use the power of the peacock to bring it back to life. He will not make another mistake. You and Captain Wow. They just jumped right in. Wait, so is is he saying that he needs to just take the Hold on. I need to go back. I'm so much is happening right now. Not make another mistake. You and Catwa will give me your miraculous back and I will Paris with the miracle. When you chose me to be the ladybug, you placed your trust in me. I'm asking you to do the same today. Wow. <laughs> you should get some rest before you go. Don't worry. I'll be fine. Okay, so what happened to her? Are we gonna get answers here now too? Hey, why the long face? My mom used to have dizzy spells, just like Natalie. Oh, I knew it. Ah, that's so cute! Mom's the only one who can make me laugh like that. Thank you. Oh, that's so cute. So he can't sing, but he can play piano. That's cute. Happiness for miraculous. I was totally wrong, but nobody could have guessed this. You have a consuming hunger that only the miraculous can satisfy. I'm giving you the So he is akumatizing a centa monster. But after you've swapped Oh, but don't you worry. I'll give them back to you as soon as I'm done with them. I'll even give you the peacocks in mind as a bonus, and thus you shall have eaten every single miraculous, and your hunger shall be satiated. Do we have an agreement? <laughs> All right. Whoa. It's dinner time, feast. Wait? Oh my gosh. You're a most incredible ladybug. But I cannot let you and Cat Noir risk your lives to fix a mistake that I made. I hope you can forgive me. Be happy and forget all about me. Signed, Florence. <gasps> no way! Tiki! No! Master! This is... I forget, did age did Cat Noir meet the master yet? And I think he did. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. <laughs> <Banana war! laughs> I love that he still has a banana costume. So funny. Oh my. Whoa. Master, look! Ladybug and Cat Noir, despite their ridiculous costumes, they have- <laughs> Possible! They don't have their miraculous! Okay, I'll help you, but right on the side of the road before you get there. Oh my goodness. Look, Master, there's no use in running. Your characters <laughs> never give up the fight no matter what. We go without them, Miraculous. They are Ladybug and Cat Noir. That's right. I love how he has a broom. He has a broom. I am the one you've been wanting the past 172 years. The guardian of the Miraculous is this decrepit old man. Looking for this? Oh! The Miraculous. Come on, ways. Shut up. Oh! <laughs> You know you're too old to play superheroes. They can't get away from you now. Oh my gosh. Wow. There are only two places where your staff could be. Where the temple was. Or. That's cool. So will he have a, he'll have a staff afterwards. Hurry, my lady. This thing already swallowed my stick hole. Sure the right time <laughs> yeah, they're so cute! Oh no, not the tongue. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
Oh my goodness. Like a TARDIS. Whatever he swallows gets sealed here forever. That's scary. In case, we better hurry up and find out where the master staff is hiding. I knew it. It had to be intact, otherwise the Septi monster would have disappeared. Careful what you wish for. <laughs> wow. Wow. Seems like this episode went by so fast. Wow. It's gonna fix the staff. What's gonna happen with the staff now? Wait, where'd it go? Is it because of you, I won't have to run anymore. I only put your teaching to practice, Master. Aw. But wait, this that doesn't make any sense. Why would the staff just of this temple in the Tibetan Mountains, hundred and seventy two years after it was destroyed? Whoa, really? On location. That's correct, Nadia. But what makes this phenomenon particularly unexplainable is that all the monks who used to live in the temple Whoa. are also the symbol of the guardians of the moon. Whoa! So, my mistake has been undone. The monks have been freed and the temple has been restored. I can't thank you enough, Marionette. And Kagwa. I'm finally free from the burden of the past that has been so long. I shall go and see them someday soon and explain everything to them. Your training is complete, Marinette. You are now a fully fledged ladybug. Wow. The time has come for me to prepare you to become the new guardian. Whoa! Master, you're the guardian. You have been for 172 years. Precisely. It's high time I handed it over. You have proven that you are more worthy of it than I am. Wow. In fact, your training is starting right now. You will spend the next 24 hours meditating with the miracle box. <laughs> Uh, actually, I... I need to have a bakery. <laughs> I was joking. Those strict traditions did no good when I was your age. I have oh my to gosh! Them. Instead, your first task will be to help me carry these boxes to my farm. Where's he going? Now that Hawkbot knows who I am, oh. it's too dangerous for me to live here. But don't worry, Mary. <laughs> Whenever you and Kat Noir need me, I will always be here for you. Aww. Yeah, so like, what if they need- I'm not going anywhere until Hawk Moth is defeated. I never leave you. Mm. I have not oh! My defeated shall be Whoa. Why, though? Wow. Whoa! Like, what? It's like it's so crazy that the last episode that I that I watched prior to this, I was saying like I couldn't wait to see more about like what happened in the past, and now here we are. We're actually getting somewhere. This is incredible. Like I am so I'm feeling so much better right now about the series. Like I'm not not that I didn't, but it was just getting a little monotonous and 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 I mean it seemed like it had been forever since we heard had any more like plot develop anything this is huge I am so excited about this I just wonder what this means though for like if they need other miraculous holders like where exactly is master food going are they gonna run into any problems if they need an extra like miraculous holder or does ladybug have the box now with her I don't know. It's interesting that he says that she's going to be the new guardian of the miraculous. Like, what does that mean? And I mean, I guess I'm not surprised by that, but like, does that mean that there's always just one guardian forever for it? Or does that mean like there, there's different guardians? Like, so there's the cat guardian, there's the ladybug guardian. I'm gonna have to rewatch this just to kind of figure out, figure that out. Or maybe one of you guys down in the comments can let me know. But wow, this is, I didn't realize like that he was, I guess it makes sense he was so young when it happened, but like, wow, he was, he was young. So if, he, if it was 200 years ago, that's insane. Like I'm just, I'm so blown away by this. Like it just, it blows my mind. Like I, I, I can't believe we actually got somewhere. Like if we actually got somewhere. <laughs> so my theory with Adrian's mom was proven.
is that whatever is happening to Natalie is what happened to her. So we still don't quite know what happened to the Peacock Miraculous. We know that that Master Fu lost the butterfly and the Peacock Miraculouses, but we don't know what happened to them after and how Mr. and Mrs. Agrest came across them and what happened to the Peacock Miraculous because it was destroyed-ish, like it was broken. Maybe it was it broken like in the midst of him losing it or what? And like, why did they start using it in the first place is the real question. Also, why does Hawk Moth want such revenge? Like, was it revenge on Ladybug and Cat Noir? Cause honestly, like, it sounds like he has bigger problems than revenge. Seems like he needs to get his wife back to life or out of a coma or whatever it is she's in. He has to help her. It shouldn't be focused on the revenge that be like I don't know I don't know is he just mad because they're delaying him helping his wife like I don't know it's also hard because like it seems like he loves her but then it's like like I think I said last time he's a little too close to Natalie and then like if he's treating him needing revenge as more important than like what he's actually gonna use the miraculous for in terms of hopefully helping his wife like I don't I don't know if his priorities are where they're supposed to be. So that's a little sad. He might just be a little bit of a power hungry dude. I, in general, I mean, he he's a, a rich guy, you know, has his own fashion line. He might be have a, he might be a little bit of a power hungry guy. It's, <laughs> I love that there was a continuity too, like that, that the whole banana costume, he was had that still and he used it <laughs> in this episode. So they're really, really, really playing out this whole, um, secret identity thing now and now it makes me wonder i'm trying to remember if, if cat noir had ever met master Fu. i think he did this this blew my mind i don't know what, what more more i could say this is just so oh we're actually getting somewhere we're getting somewhere like i can't I hope the rest of the season is like this because this was this was entertaining and it went by so quickly like this was a fast-paced episode like right off the bat also I am a little disappointed in Alia because she's supposed to be a miraculous holder and she should know by now I know she's always been fascinated with her lady blog and like who ladybug is and and the you know how everything works and stuff but you would think that after getting a miraculous herself after her fighting the villains and all the stuff after meeting Ladybug, you would think that she would try to do more to protect the miraculous that she was trying to help save from Cat, uh, for Cat Noir and Ladybug. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm, and, and this is, like I said, this is Alia. Like, this is my girl. I'm a little bit disappointed with her and how she, but like, it's also cool because like the whole ancient Pharaoh thing, like, that was, that whole thing of them being like in the museum and talking about how there was like ladybugs from thousands of years ago and like the whole ancient Egypt thing, that was way back in season one, like in Pharaoh when they first saw some things. And then we haven't seen that since. So it's really cool that we're going back now and reintroducing some of those those concepts that were that were talked about in the beginning that we never heard anything more about. This is exciting. This is exciting. I am really liking where this is going. I hope that it continues on this momentum because this is good stuff. This is so different from how things have been going. I mean, like each season has gotten progressively better, but this is this was really good. Like this was cool. This was like a, 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 a timeline. There's things that happen that are progressing this plot forward in this series. And I cannot wait personally to hear more about the, the lore and the mythology of the miraculous. Like that's the thing. That's why I like these kinds of shows. Cause I like like, you know, the origin stories, the, where the powers come from, the mythical things. Like I really like that kind of stuff. And sometimes miraculous can kind of lack that a little bit. Like we, they kind of tease us about it, which is a little fun sometimes, but then like after a while, it's like, all right, like, come on, like, like, I'd like to know. Like, it's just, it makes it fascinating. It makes it so that 
I feel like I'm diving into the story more deeply. I don't know, it just immerses you more. I think that's the word I'm looking for. Like it immerses you more into the series. And so I really like those kinds of things. And I think that's sometimes why I can struggle sometimes with this because like sometimes it's all just surface stuff. And I like to dive just a little bit deeper and figure out like some of the background stuff. And I don't know, but, so, but this is cool. This is cool. I really like this episode. This episode and last episode were really, really, really good. And they're going in a really good direction. I cannot wait to see what happens next yeah <laughs> until next time my name is luna tk and i hope you guys have a awesome day bye hey everybody thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did there's plenty of ways to show it you can give me a like a comment subscribe or ring the bell for notifications you can also follow me at luna t 93 for updates and you can check out previous content right there until next time bye